Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to clean your penny board. So to do this, we use basic things like a towel, just to keep everything clean, socket wrench, so you can take all the machine parts off, a 14 millimeter key for the kingpin, and then a 13 millimeter key for the bearings, and also a screwdriver, so you can pop the bearings out of the wheel, so you can clean the wheel without destroying the bearings. And of course, Swedish environmentally healthy green soap. And the basic water. Okay, so to begin with, we'll take the wheels off. To do so, you need the wrench, and you need your 13mm key. Just screw it until the bolt comes off, like this, and then you get the bolt, put it aside. Then you also have one of these small spacers. You get the wheel off, it looks like this. Okay, remember where you put all the bolts and spacers. And lastly, you have one more spacer in here. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to get loose. You need to work on it. Okay, there it came. Now, you have one of the wheels off. Repeat it to all four wheels. The spaces are there to make the wheel spin more smoothly so it doesn't have any friction against the truck. Okay guys, so now I got all the four wheels off the board and I also got all the spacers and all the bolts off. So remember, keep those safe because you'll need it to resemble the thing. Now let's begin to remove the bearings from the wheel itself. You take your screwdriver and then just on the inside you take it and then just gently squeeze the bearing out of it. You don't want to do it too hard because if you do you risk to remove the inside of the bearing. See, it popped out and then you have the bearing itself like this. Just put it down on the table and in here you'll have a spacer. This spacer you need to put in again before you finish up. So remember where you've put everything. And then just repeat it on the back side too. Be gentle because you don't want to destroy the bearing. Okay, now we've got one wheel done here and we just put it down in the water and uh, let it soak for a while. Repeat it to all four wheels. Okay, so now we got all the wheels and we got uh, the bearings out of them, so they are completely free. We take our <laughs> Swedish uh, environmentally friendly soap and just put some in there. We don't need that much. We want to keep the environment free from all the nasty things that there is in soap. Just move it around a bit. Then you can take it up and just using your finger, just scrub it clean. Okay, so now I scrub them and uh, there's some soap uh, residue inside of there. So we'll just take them away and then wash them off under water. Okay, so now we have them all washed up and we have cleaned them and we removed the residue from the soap. So we'll put the wheels aside for now, let them dry. And we take our cloth and then our bearings. They're a bit dirty on the outside shelling. There's no problem in that. You just take a, your towel and then just wipe it off. And we can move on to the board itself. So to do this, you want to take remove the trucks. So you take your 14 millimeter and again your wrench and then you just unscrew the kingpin. Here we go. And remember keep these apart. This is the top wash. Remember which one is the top and which one is the bottom. On some boards there's a difference, but on the penny board you will see which one is which. And then you have just your bushing here. You need to take it up. There we go. This is the top bushing. 
It's gonna be sitting on the top, and this is the bottom bushing. And you here you have the bottom washer. And this is the truck itself. It's a simple design, and you just need to clean it off using the towel. And be sure to clean these, this part of it. Okay, so now you repeat the same thing. Now we got everything clean, so now we'll just move on to the board itself. Here you want to be sure that you clean the kingpin off. And then you want to clean this little area in here. ready for assembly. Take the bottom washer, put it down, you take the bottom bushing down there, and then you take the truck itself, position it so that you get the little hole like this, then just firmly squeeze it so it gets into it, its uh, right position. Top bushing, top washer, and then the bolt. Okay, and now the same thing. The board is done, and now we'll move on to the wheels again. So, we'll just wipe the wheels off from the water. So, to do this, you take your first bearing, Make sure it's fairly flat here, so when you push it in, it doesn't uh, get to the side. You want it to be all flat and lined up with the wheel itself. Then you take one of your spacers, just drop it in there and make sure it's flat in there so it hasn't uh, turned over to its side. You take your second bearing and then just gently place it there and push it into place. There we go, it's back to place. We'll put it aside and do the same with the three other wheels. Okay, now we got all the four wheels done and in place. And now we want to attach them again. So, you take the, your little spacer, put it on here, then you take your wheel, and then you just need to align the spacer on the inside. And if the spacer moves out of the place, like this, you see how the spacer is on the side. You just put it on the truck and then gently tap the wheel so it comes in position. Ta-da! And it's in. Okay, you take your bolt and just screw it on. You don't need to tighten it yet. You can just screw it on and move on to the next wheel. You tighten it later. Okay, now we have the old wheels on here, so we'll just switch the key on the wrench to a 13mm one. And now we just tighten. If you tighten too hard, you'll hinder the wheel from spinning. It just get in the way. So tighten it just exactly so it stops. There we go, and it's done. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you learned something. Please subscribe. And see you next time.